Hello and welcome to video number 10 and congratulations for reaching the end of this video series. In this specific video, I'm going to talk about taking action. So in the previous videos, I showed you how to set up a campaign. Now it's time to test it and look at the statistics. So once your campaign is set up, we're going to choose a contact list. We're going to schedule the time and we're going to send it out and I'm going to show you how to read your statistics so you can analyze each campaign, figure out what worked, what didn't, so that you can effectively build your list, grow your relationship with your list and monetize your list. So let's get started. Okay, so sending the email is very, very easy to do. Just make sure that everything's correct. Click preview to see the email that we're going to send out. And in this case, I'm sending the HTML source code email. What you need to do now under this drop down menu is to select the contact list that we created in the previous video on importing the list into the emails. Once that's done, you can either send it now or send it later. You can schedule it on a certain day in a certain time. And in terms of time zones, you can also change the time zone. Like for example, right now it is selected on Eastern Standard Time, which is America, New York, or you can change the time zone here. Once I'm done, I can simply click send now and click on save and send. Now, when you want to take a look at that specific campaign, if you go to MailJet, click on campaigns at the very top, and you're going to see the campaign title. You're going to see that it's sent. You're going to see the emails and of course that contact list. Remember that I only inputted one email address. The other ones I put as unsubscribes and it shows the opens and the clicks. Now, if I go to my Gmail account, which is where the email was sent to, you can see subject line here, the from was here, the HTML source code email is here. And when I click on this link, and if I go back to mailjet.com and view the statistics, it should go from zero to one click. And when I refresh the page, as you can see here, it says emails opens 100%. So out of one email, me, I opened it up. So it's 100% and clicks. And of course, clicks will be 100% uh, when I actually click that link. Now, when I click on that specific campaign here, you're able to see the status, which is sent, the email, the, as you can see, it's green. So whatever has been open, whatever has been clicked, if anybody unsubscribes, you'll see it. So as you can see here, we got emails delivered, 100%, 100% clicked, and how many unsubscribes and spam and so forth. And the cool thing is you can also see who actually opened up the email. Uh, you can see the queue, the send, the open, the click, the bounce, the block, the spam, and the unsubscribe. So that's the beauty of MailJet.com. I love it. I use it all the time. It helps me track and keep track of a lot of different emails, campaigns, seeing what works and what doesn't. And it's simple, it's easy to implement and it's cheap. So it's a great way to increase your deliverability rates if you followed everything that I showed you. If you have any questions, email mailjet.com. Their customer service is great. They do take about, I'd say 24 hours to get back to you, but they're uh, pretty knowledgeable and helpful um, for most questions. And that's it. So congratulations, you're done. Uh, don't sit around, make sure that you implement this and succeed.